Hey there, English speakers. Welcome to another language breakdown where I take a YouTube video that you can easily find and I break down the language to help your listening and your speaking and to teach you expressions, pronunciation tricks, really anything that will help you become more fluent. That's our goal in this channel. So uh, if you're new here, or if you're not new here, I forget to do this all the time, please hit the subscribe button and you know the thumbs up and all of that stuff because, and click the bell so you get a notification every time we have a lesson. Uh, and share with a friend, just do it. Anyway, uh, I have a good one for you today. If you like the Larry David, the Curb Your, Enthousi Curb Your Enthusiasm episode before, this one is so good too. This is about a biracial baby doll. You're going to get some good, exp uh, good expressions, good vocabulary, and <laughs> some good humor. <laughs> so let's get started. Excuse me. Yeah, hi. Sure. Sure. Is this, is this the only doll? Yeah, that's the only one left. That's it? Yeah, last one. By the way, we call it a doll. Doll. It's a little difficult to pronounce for some languages. Doll. Doll. That's the, that's the little baby toy, right? Doll. Is this the only doll left? If something is left, it's the last one, right? The only one left. The only one remaining. Left is remaining. Let's listen again. Only doll? Yeah, that's the only one left. That's it? Yeah, last one. Huh. Isn't that cute? What's, what's the race on this doll? Uh, it's biracial. Biracial? Yeah. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Huh. So they make this doll specifically for mixed couples? For black and white couples, they make a doll for their kids? I don't know. If somebody's Asian and they marry a... Uh, a mixed couple is... Let me turn up the volume a little bit. Uh, a mixed couple is obviously what you'd imagine it is, right? It's a mixed, like, mixed racial couple. We call it mixed couple, I guess. <laughs> At least that's what Larry David calls it. Uh, I wouldn't go by Larry David's um, model of <laughs> political correctness, but uh, but a mixed couple, a mixed couple, biracial, by Wait. the way. It's called biracial couple because the prefix bi, it means two, right? When you have the prefix bi before a word, it means two, right? Biracial, two races. Bicycle, two wheels, right? As opposed to a unicycle, with one wheel, a tricycle with three wheels, right? Uh, bifocals, bifocals, the glasses with two strengths of vision, right? Bifocals, bi, biracial. They make a dolly for mixed couples, for black and white couples, they make a doll for their kids? I don't know. If somebody's Asian and they marry a white person, are they making sort of a half Asian, half white doll too? See what I'm getting at? Yeah. I think that's, yeah. Hmm. I wonder if you do. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you do. But he said, you see what I'm getting at? You see what I'm getting at? That's an expression you could say. Uh, if you know the expression, you know what I mean? Right, you've probably heard that one. That one's pretty common, but you see what I'm getting at means the same thing, right? You see what I'm getting at? You see what I'm getting at? And you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Those all kind of mean the same thing. For black and white couples, they make a doll for their kids? I don't know. If somebody's Asian and they marry a white person, are they making sort of a half Asian, half white doll too? See what I'm getting at? Yeah. I think that's, yeah. Hmm. I wonder if you do. 
Okay. Um, well, I guess I'll take it. <gasps> Excellent. Let me wrap it up for you. Okay. Okay. Let me wrap it up for you. Let me wrap it up for you. To wrap is to envolver in Spanish, but to wrap is to make it a, a present, right? Put the wrapping paper on it. That's what it's called. To wrap it up. Wrap up. Wrap it up. Means put the paper on it and a bow as a gift. Let me wrap it up for you. Let me, repeat after me. Let me wrap it up for you. Let me wrap it up for you. One more. Let me wrap it up for you. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'll take it. <gasps> Excellent. Let me wrap it up for you. Okay. Okay. Oh, guys, it says meow. <laughs> Is that adorable? Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Thank you. What is this? Oh, it's for my heart. It's tomorrow in my heart. What? No, no, I'm fine. It was an aberration in the. In the oh, no, I, I've got happening? wires under there. I'm old. Are you okay? No, I'm fine. What does that mean? Nothing. It's just there's something wrong with the machine. Then doctor wouldn't sign off of it. It's, it's nothing. It's just... How long do you have to wait? It's nothing. But <laughs> there's some. <laughs> there's something that's gonna happen. That's gonna be funny. You know that's gonna happen with the biracial baby. But um, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. That's what he said. This. This a day. Doesn't Bernie Dusenberry look like Steve DeMarco? No. Are you kidding me? He looks Steve exactly DeMarco? like him. Yes. They don't look anything alike. Anytime I ever point out that somebody looks like someone else, you always disagree. Because they never yes. do. They always do. They never do. Is that? Oh, she's opening our gift. Oh, good. This is from the Davids. Oh, a doll. That's nice. It's a mulatto. <laughs> oh, good. Biracial is what we call it usually. Biracial. <laughs> you know, you know, see what I said earlier. You don't know to take Larry David's uh, coaching on on uh, political correctness, but he said it's a mulatto, which I guess is offensive to some people, apparently. So, uh, but we don't really say that. We would say biracial. Right? And she corrected him. I... It's a mulatto. <laughs> no good? <laughs> Biracial is what we call it usually. Biracial? Hmm. Huh. What do you know about that? Oh, well, they gave us another one, too. That's actually um, for the surrogate. Oh. The surrogate. Oh, look at this. The surrogate is someone who gives birth to the baby you're going to have, essentially. Right? right? Probably somebody will give a better definition than that. But um, let's see how Larry David puts his foot in his mouth about this. Uh, to put your foot in your mouth is to say something that you regret, to say something you shouldn't have. So let's continue. <laughs> let's see. Um, why don't we uh, have some coffee or some dessert? Because that's it. That's all the gifts. Thank you guys for coming. What? Thanks for the gifts. Hi. Hey. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I didn't expect it. You're the one carrying I the baby. That's your baby. I didn't expect them to, but thank you. It's very unnecessary. Yeah. I mean, what do you do? You're a writer. Oh, that's cool. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, though, it's not such a great job. You know, like, for example, I got this friend. She just gave a script to me to give to somebody. She said, don't let him touch my baby, you know. That's what they do. You work on something for months and... Uh-oh. Uh, it's not so great, you said. It's not so great. Uh, and I guess he's going to go on to, he said, don't touch my baby. 
and he was using that as a metaphor. The baby is something that you work on and you put a lot of effort into for so long. And then, you know, if you start a business, if you start anything, you do a big project, it feels like your baby, right? It's your creation. So that's the metaphor, my baby. That's my baby, right? Um, something you care deeply about. You've put a lot of effort into it. So you'll, you see her face. Months, then they take it away from you, and then that's it. You never see it again. They take your baby from you, they give your baby to somebody else, and that's it. You've lost complete contact with your baby. You never see the baby again, and it's your baby, and they give it to another writer. And that writer doesn't let you even look at your baby. That's part of your job, that this is what you signed up for. I mean, you knew you had to give it away. Sort of, but it's hard to give up that baby. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, he, it completely goes over his head, which means he completely is not understanding what he's doing. Uh, he keeps referring to the project as your baby when she's carrying a literal baby. You sort of do. You sort of do. Sort of means kind of or a little bit, right? Let's listen to that again. You signed up for. I mean, you knew you had to give it away. Sort of, but it's hard to give up that baby. Sort of, sort of, sort of, kind of, a little bit, in a way. Those are all ways to say the same thing. But this is what you signed up for. I mean, you knew you had to give it away. Sort of, but it's hard to give up that baby. I mean, in a few years, you can see how your script's doing or something. Yeah, I know, but then it's all changed. You have nothing to do with it. Yeah. All right. You want to get some coffee? He always has a way, doesn't he? Uh, that's, a good, that's a good place to stop here. Let me get back over to my spot. And uh, that's it. You got two videos in here. Well, a continuation, really. But um, there you go. Larry David, Curb Your Enthusiasm. What a show. What a masterpiece. Anyway, um, thank you. That's it for me. I've taken enough of your time. Thank you. If you want to work on your fluency more deeply, then check out the links below. Other than that, my time with you is over. Keep teaching. Keep learning. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.